to another video on my channel. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Inshallah. Basically, I've got a new set. I got bored of the green screen. Uh, I'm not bored of it, but like, it took more time um, editing and stuff. And sometimes it was a bit fuzzy. So, you know, I'm back to my calm, real life background. Today, we're still talking about this upcoming Algeria squad. But it's a point, it's a bit of a debate. It's a more in general, not just about this squad against Niger, but for the Algerian national team in general, okay? Now, this is my point. Now, for, for a few months, this has maybe been a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I've got to say, gradually, uh, more and more people are actually starting to side with me. So, in my opinion, I've had enough of Yusuf Belayli, okay? The coke sniffer himself. He was good for us. He was quality. Arab Cup that he won. The AFCON that he won when he started on that left, that link up with Bunaj. Trust me, thank you so much for your services, Yusuf. And now you're playing in Europe, mashallah, so I'm really proud of you. But thanks for the memories, it's time to go, mate. Now, I might be biased, because I'm a West Ham fan, and I've met him a few times. Side Ben Rahma, or even someone else on that left-hand side, this is your time to shine. I've had enough of Belayli. I've had enough of the dribbling past four or five players, and the fans go, ooh, and then it's a bloody goal kick. And don't forget... People keep forgetting against Cameroon in Bleeder, he missed an absolute bloody sitter. He missed a sitter from five yards to equalise. He missed an absolute sitter, Blaley. And he's 30, 31. He's 31 now, isn't he? He's 31. That's not for the future, bruv. He'll be nearly 32 next AFCON. Nah. And probably when the, the summer ends, Ajaxia will get relegated, right? And he'll be in the Middle East again. I don't want any of that nonsense. I want young new players. Get Ben Rahman in. I don't even want to see Belayli in the squad class. Well, or no. Bilal nah, don't even call him up. I'm sorry. Those, the last four games we had, the two games and the friendlies in October and November, just before the World Cup, no goals, no assists. Of course Ben Rahman is going to have less out output for the national team because he barely gets a chance. It's like Andy Delore. Bunaja and Slimani play all the time. Delore doesn't get the chance to score because he never gets to play. Give the law four or five games. The same with Ben Rahama. Give him four or five games. Starting regularly. Boost his confidence. Enough with the Baleli Khalas. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. So, if we are going to build all these new players in, you have to remember that many players coming in means a certain number of players are going to be going out the door. And Baleli's one of them. We've got Ben Rahama that can play there. Farish Shaibi. You think Rayan Shirky is going to come to sit on the bench for Yusuf Baleli? Nah, man. Come on. Shirky. Uh, Bilal Brahimi, Ben Rahma, Shaibi, Adam Nurse. These lads give them a chance. Michael Ali say one day, who knows? I mean, Guri on the left one day, who knows? I'm done with Belayli. I'm sorry, man. He was such a good player, 2019. To be fair, his best time was when he was playing for Esperance in Tunisia. He won the CAF Champions League. But nah, man. We've got a player in the Premier League getting goals and assists in the Premier League at West Ham. And you're going to bench him for this dribbler? No. I'm sorry. Ben Rahma. He's got to get a chance. He's got to get a chance. I don't know. I, th I think I think Belmadi has realised now. And by the way, he's won. I think Rice and Bolhi's time might be over. We might not see him. I think Ice and Mandy, his time might be over. Who knows? I think Belayli and Bolhi and Mandy are the three that we could really see phased out from this Algeria squad. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.